she just encouraged me to be like her when I'm older. We don't have to only look at LeBron and MJ and Steph Curry. Now we actually have like our own here. Caitlin Clark! Dads who are bringing their daughters, I mean literally flying from Canada to games in the United States because they want their daughter to see this. I mean it's just, it's remarkable and at the same time it's it's awesome because that's what sport's about, right? We've heard of the Caitlin Clark effect. This is just the beginning of it and they're going to be talking about her for 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Katie go! Well, my mom has this like piece of paper like when I was in second or third grade and it has like you write down like all your dreams in like these little bubbles and I remember one of them was playing the WNBA and earn a basketball scholarship. And I was always somebody that was driven by goals. Caitlin Clark's goals began to take shape in West Des Moines, Iowa, where her athletic ability and competitive nature were on display at an early age. It's almost like she's born to be an athlete. She just has kind of a natural ability to do whatever sport it is. All I wanted to do was win, no matter if it was a board game, um, a card game, really anything. Like I just was going to do whatever it took to win. I got kicked out of PE class because I was so competitive. Clark credits her brothers with making her tough. Older brother Blake went on to play football at Iowa State. Her younger brother Colin battled Caitlin at home in basketball, including one memorable matchup. It was a snow day, so we didn't have school, so we were hanging out in the basement. I literally got so mad. I think he like had just scored on me. I literally grabbed him with two hands and just like launched him into the wall. And he just put his hand back and went like this, and he's like, Mom, because his hand was just full of blood and my mom was not happy. And that competitive fire has always been the foundation to whatever she's done. So it's part of her DNA, if you will. Woo! Katie Clark! Caitlin spent most of her youth playing against the boys and seeking the toughest competition. I played with the boys, honestly, I think until about sixth grade which is probably a lot longer than most girls. I think it kind of taught me, you know, if you want to play, you got to have to hold your own. But looking back, I never, like, questioned that. Do you remember the first time you saw her? Absolutely. Paint me the picture. Sixth or seventh grade, she hit a step back three. But what was even cooler is the next trip down, she got a rebound like she does, and she was looking up, and she sailed a beautiful pass. You, you were like, wow. I mean, you could just see the vision. You couldn't tell she was a seventh grader out there. There's something special about this kid, the way she carried herself, the kind of swag she already had, and the confidence, the, uh, the passion for the game was something special. The legend of Caitlin Clark started to grow at Dowling High School, where her flair and ability began drawing crowds, including a game in her junior year where she dropped 60 points. Caitlin always scores a lot. I think at halftime, I don't know if she had 25, 30, 35 points, and someone mentioned it to me, and I was like, wait, what? But the thing is, she was double teamed throughout the game, and it was the single most exciting and impressive performance that I've seen from an athlete. The home state Hawkeyes knew Caitlin Clark was special and put on the full court press to convince her to stay close to home. Good news, Bears. You're going back to the Final Four. In 2019, we had come one game from the Final Four. I left that experience and went right to Caitlin Clark's house to do a home visit. So we could t tell her, like, look it, we are almost there. We are so close. We just need you to get us there. But I felt in my heart like I had to be here, like something was really pulling me here. And I wanted to do something that really hadn't been done for a really long time. For the first time since 19. Iowa is headed to the Final Four. I'll never forget the hug that she came over and gave me after that game. It was so special, and it was just like, we did it together. Now with her college career winding down, Caitlin has broken almost every major scoring record in this sport, while becoming the face of the game that's inspired girls and boys to dream big, just like she did. I always wanted to be the best, and there was times where I definitely wasn't or I failed, but you get back up and you keep trying. Here comes Clark. How will she go for history? There it is! 
never stop dreaming because you can achieve way more than you ever thought and, and I still keep dreaming and I'm 22 years old so never stop.